The iOS 7 control center was almost perfect. This was the first ever software released by Apple to include this new way to interact with your device by simply being able to swipe up from the bottom. And uh, this gave you access to a lot of different controls like volume controls, skipping songs, turning your Wi-Fi on and off and so on. And it was honestly a really cool feature that was definitely worth updating your iPhone for at the time. And you know, fun fact, I actually consider myself someone who grew up in the iOS 7 era. I used to use an iPhone 4S on iOS 6. And when it got the iOS 7 update, I actually still have the original screenshot from when that update came out. So I just wanted to show you guys because I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, but it kind of shows you guys just how old this technology really is. I mean, iOS 7 came out 13 years ago. No, sorry, 11 years ago. I got the math wrong. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at this control center and uh, talk a little bit more about why I miss this particular feature. So this device that I have here is actually an iPhone 5S that is still running iOS 7, meaning it has the original control center installed and you know, it looks different, it looks cluttered, everything was just kind of all over the place and I can see why Apple decided to change it up with what we have today, which I don't necessarily think looks bad by any means, but it would be nice for them to maybe change a couple things up because if you think about it, the control center has looked the same since like iOS 11. So Apple, if you're watching this video, it'd be a nice little thing to see in future iOS updates. Um, but another thing I want to talk a little bit more about was the actual history behind the control center. So if you think about it, the control center has had three major iterations since it came out. The first, of course, being with iOS 7, which is what we have here. The second being with iOS 10, which surprisingly lasted for one full year until Apple ditched it and replaced it with what we have today on most modern iPhones. I think it's really funny though that Apple got rid of the iOS 10 control center because it was just really weird experience. It was hard to use. You had to like swipe around uh, as you guys can see here. But yeah, if you guys wanna see a more detailed video on that, I do have one linked at the top right. I made it I think about a year ago. So feel free to check that out if you guys want. But one thing I will say though, is that I really miss the iOS 7 control center in general because it didn't really take away from what was happening in the background of the device. So if you were on an app and you scrolled up, you could still see what was going on in the actual uh, phone itself, like uh, whatever app you were on previously. But with iOS 16, for example, it just kind of looks like it's just completely blurred out and there's like this really big space at the top. So maybe if Apple were to change this, maybe they could like include some sort of widget at the top. Let me know what you guys think because I feel like that space could be used for something else. Uh, but one of the things I did want to mention in general is that the control center has been available on iPhones for a really long time now. It just looks different depending on which iPhone you have. Of course, if you have an iPhone with a notch, you would scroll down to access it. But if you have an iPhone with a home button, shout out to the home button right over here, you would actually just swipe up. Um, but yeah, I mean, this old control center here is really what started it all. It really was a defining moment for Apple. It allowed us to easily turn off certain settings without having to actually go into the settings app itself. And I just really miss the layout of how this looked. It's definitely a very retro feeling. And I sometimes think people often forget what it used to look like back in the day. So hopefully this video gives you guys an idea and a little memory to look back at because the iOS 7 control center was truly something else and definitely takes me back. Oh, and that's also not to say that the control center didn't have its flaws. I mean, it did because this screen is so small. It was really easy to like, you know, press the wrong thing, press the wrong button or click somewhere else. And this was also back in the day when you could actually turn Wi-Fi off and not turn it off until tomorrow. That's honestly one of the most confusing things about the control center today. But yeah, I just want to throw that in there. Um, but hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new about the control center. This really was one of the most useful features that Apple has introduced. I mean, we use it on an everyday basis, so it's kind of cool to look back at. So yeah, shout out to whoever created this or the team behind this. It was honestly a really helpful feature. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about the control center and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.